Hello everybody, uh, today I'd like to kind of go over a little bit of a kind of like a machine uh, introduction here, review, kind of whatever you want to call it. Um, some of you have already uh, had the chance to operate this machine and some of you haven't so I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about it. Uh, this is the Lincoln um, S500 Power Wave. Uh, machine with the advanced module. Um, it's kind of a pretty uh, pretty advanced machine. Uh, according to the Lincoln Electric Rep, uh, when we purchased this machine, uh, they said that this was the most advanced welder on the planet. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool uh, to. Uh, <laughs> to hear that. Um, so just kind of going into some of the uh, functionality of this machine, you know, this is kind of the one-stop shop machine right here. This machine will do pretty much anything and everything. Um, kind of, I guess going down here, starting with the bottom, um, this machine has the um, TIG uh, water cooler. Uh, at the very bottom, um, that looks like the Cooler 55S model there. Okay, then coming up, uh, this next system that you find, this is kind of a stackable system, um, this is the actual advanced module. Um, the advanced module has, oh, um, lots of highly advanced waveforms built within it. Um, there's a lot of videos that uh, Lincoln has on their website to kind of talk about uh, what these are. This particular um, power wave has, I believe, 527 different programs uh, in it right now. And, you know, different waveforms, um, uh, including the STT, surface tension transfer. This is kind of the advanced um, MIG process. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, when we actually use that process, we need to come in right here. There's a um, kind of like a little uh, another miniature work cable um, ground clamp, if you will, and that goes in here. Um, this is an uh, arc uh, voltage sensing lead that needs to be hooked up to your uh, your base metal when you're welding uh, with that STT process. Um, and then going up here, we have the um, power source, the main power source, the S500. Uh, not really much that you do uh, with this here. You got the on off switch, we'll turn it on in a second. Um, and then getting up to the top, now this is kind of the brains up here. This is where we do pretty much everything. Um, of course, this is attached to the wire feeder. Uh, now, these, these can come in uh, a dual variety. Okay, we could have actually had um, another uh, wire feeder over here um, for what we do. Uh, this is this is plenty, um, but uh, yeah, this is a like I said, a pretty <laughs> pretty high end machine. Um, we can do so many things with this machine. This is a true um, when you say that you have. Uh, a multi-process machine. This truly is a multi-process machine. This machine has um, really the option of all possible polarities, um, AC, DC positive, DC negative, um, which is hard to find in a true multi-process machine where you actually can get AC. Uh, most most multi-process machines don't have uh, AC on them. They're usually only DC machines. This actually has both. Uh, and with the advanced module, you have the option, really, of having so many advanced waveforms, uh, including the STT, which is similar to uh, the uh, RMD. If we go to our uh, robot, a robot has the, the, the Miller regulated metal deposition that's similar to Lincoln's STT. Um, some other things kind of kind of cool about uh, this particular machine is it has really um, um, some software things that can be added. Um, if we were to come down here and hook up a laptop computer, 
uh, we can use a couple things. One is called the uh, Power Wave Manager system. Uh, this machine could be hooked in uh, to the internet. Um, a lot of things we can do. We can we can download any new waveforms that are created uh, by Lincoln for this machine, um, and you can download those uh, free of charge. Um, the uh, Power Wave Manager, though, does so many more things. You can actually go in and remotely uh, change any settings. You can lock things. You can uh, you can just do really uh, anything anything possible. If, if it can be done or adjusted, you can adjust it remotely uh, from this you know uh, uh, from your laptop or, or cell phone if you had the app on it. Um, a few other things uh, worth noting is it has what's known as a checkpoint system, which operates through the PowerWave Manager, uh, you know, kind of an internet-based uh, software that allows you to check things like arc on time, um, idle time, uh, what's the highest settings, average settings, anything about this machine uh, as it's running, which is, you know, pretty cool I guess if you wanted to monitor uh, this machine say in a production setting. Uh, the other thing that is kind of unique about it, um, it has what's known as weld score and weld score uh, is another um, you know very unique uh, software that uh, if we hook the laptop, laptop up to this machine we could actually kind of like teach it. We run a, we do a weld, and the machine kind of learns from that weld, and it's it's monitoring all kinds of electrical characteristics about the weld. It's, it's it's really cool because it never, you know, the machine can't physically see the weld, but it knows all of the electrical characteristics uh, that are going on about the weld, and. Those electrical characteristics, when monitored closely enough, do tell us a lot about how the weld uh, looks. If if we run a weld that we say, you know, this is the uh, baseline standard, and then we check um, other welds to it, um, and and so basically that's what we do. We run a weld, we train it, we teach it, and then somebody else can come in and uh, do a weld, and it'll actually give a percent score as to how much you matched that that weld that was that was previously taught and it gives it you know like in a percent so you could say it's you match to 75 percent you match to 80 percent or whatever um, a lot of companies use that as a way of determining if their welders are uh, ready to um, start welding uh, you know for production work or not so that's kind of a cool thing um, that uh, that you can do um, and it gives you instant feedback as you're going so um, and and then you get into the actual um, you know advanced module and all of the different processes that this machine is capable uh, of, of doing it's uh, it's it's pretty crazy um, what uh, you know what it's <laughs> possible uh, and capable of doing Things like the STT surface tension transfer within the STT. There's there's uh, alternating current AC MIG STT. Um, it has uh, some low fume uh, pulse programs uh, for for galvanized metal uh, STT braze. Um, it just it's unbelievable. Uh, Lincoln exclusive programs uh, Rapid X Precision Pulse. Um, they have what's called Rapid Arc. Um, Pulse on pulse. I mean, it's it's just endless. Uh, they have one called Rapid Z. Um, so let's go ahead and turn this machine on here, and I'm just gonna flip the main on switch. It gets a little bit loud. The fan kicks on when we turn it on. Uh, you know, this is like I said, a true multi-process machine. It can do uh, you know all of the major processes. Um, we run, uh, of course, we run stick electrodes uh, on this machine. It is a pretty powerful machine, 500 amps. Um, this machine, one thing uh, we like to do, and I'll bring this over here, it doesn't look that big in the picture, but this is a quarter inch 
7018 Lincoln Excalibur. Um, we run these you know, typically around 350 amps or so uh, with this with this powerful of a machine. It's <clears throat> it's pretty impressive uh, how it uh, how it works. Um, so you got your shield metal arc welding, uh, stick welding capabilities. Of course, uh, you got your your MIG and uh, and your flux core, um, and then uh, you know of course it, it's a TIG welding machine as well. Uh, and you can use it for carbon art gouging and a few other things. All right, so just you see the main controller coming on here. A um, couple things we can do with this machine. We can just scroll through the programs. Uh, we can do a weld mode search. Um, and if I, just going backwards here, uh, you can see 527 programs. That's the number of programs in this machine. And I can just kind of start going forward if I wanted to. You know, program one is 47018, program two, 6010, and so on. And Lincoln is pretty standard with these across the board. Uh, from, you know, if you were running, say, a, a 350 power MIG, um, those numbers are, are all going to be the same, just that this machine has a lot more of them. Um, so, one thing you can do is come in here and just push on this this button rotates here um, but i can just push on that button and it goes into weld mode search uh, and hit begin and then i can go through mig tig flux core uh, stick uh, carbon art gouging you know so this is kind of one way to get to where you want to go a little faster say if i click on mig then it's going to ask me what do you what kind of wire steel stainless aluminum you know nickel you know, silicon bronze i mean metal core wire copper i mean this just goes on uh this this machine is pretty pretty impressive if i stick with steel this is what size wire you know let's say i've got uh, 035 wire and okay what waveform do you want constant voltage Pulse, Rapid Arc, Rapid X, these are Lincoln exclusive uh, waveforms, Precision Pulse, uh, Synergic STT, that's that advanced uh, process I was telling you about, um, and non synergic STT, power mode. So if you, you know, just come back and say, okay, now it's going to ask me gas, you know, CO2, argon mix, um, you know, so I'm going to say I'm using. CO2. This is program 10 uh, within the machine, you know. Uh, but if if I wanted uh, something different, you know, let's say here I go back into my uh, weld mode search. Let me get out of this here. Uh, okay. Okay. Weld mode search. Begin. Say I go back in here and I click steel. 035. But I wanted to do STT. Come in here and click on Synergic STT. Okay, you're going to use CO2, Argon Mix. Let's say we go with an Argon Mix. That happens to be program number 325. Uh, one thing I found pretty cool with this machine when we first uh, purchased this machine a couple years back, uh, working with the, uh, with the Lincoln Tech here, um, we were just kind of testing out the STT we had a piece of like four inch pipe, Schedule 80 pipe, uh, just laying around, had uh, actually some knife edge bevels on it and uh, no root face on them. Um, and we, we tacked them up, just something kind of quick. Tack was very uneven. We had 045 wire uh, that happened to be in the machine at the time. Those were the only drive rolls uh, we had for the machine. And just to do a demo, uh, we were running a route and with that STT, which I thought would be never possible, with a knife edge bevel with uh, the root opening that was actually come out pretty wide. Um, it was it was probably in places uh, oh it was quite a bit over an eighth of an inch, um, and in some places it did you did get back closer to an eighth, but uh, it. it, it it just put in a really nice, smooth, um, even route all the way along uh, the the entire uh, you know pipe. Um
and I, I was blown away. But that's the STT. And the STT also works good on very thin metals, low spatter. Um, it's a very high end process. Um, so, you know, anybody says that welding is just welding and nothing ever changes, well, they've obviously uh, never worked with a power wave or uh, other similar type of machine uh, because the, these are these are impressive uh, highly <laughs> capable impressive machines uh, this thing has like a I think it dropped down like 440 450 amps it's a hundred percent duty cycle um, you know you could just sit there and, and, and literally uh, you know burn these these quarter inch uh, you know diameter 7018s one after another and you're not going to overheat the machine um, or exceed the duty cycle so anyways uh, just thought I'd kind of go over this here a little look at the um, well according to Lincoln anyways uh, the most advanced welder on the planet and <laughs> with the capability of it being upgraded uh, through the internet um, it probably will uh, keep that uh, that um, that title of being the most advanced welder for for quite a while. So, anyways, as always, you got any questions? Make sure you reach out to me. Uh, take care. Thanks. Have a good day.